Welcome to Door Fortress and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. In this video, we're going to be using DF Hack to increase the FPS of the fortress. We're getting like, on average, around 10 to 15 right now, FPS. And that's because we redrained the ocean to create this wave break wall. And what this does is as the wave comes in, it hits the obsidian wall here and then shatters it back into ocean mist just like this right here so it doesn't have to travel all the way to the back of the map uh, but we're going to be installing df hack and using some commands to get this fortress back up to a decent playable level so we do a simple google search for df hack with no spaces and we get the df hack main page and we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on downloads okay and now df hack 50.50 alpha 1 click on that and then come down a little bit in the page and at the very bottom right here df hack 505 alpha 1 windows 64 bit zip we're going to download this and if we come up in this page a little bit right now it's going to tell us what's working and what isn't working because df hack is much larger than this However, in converting it over to the new version of Dwarf Fortress, some of the commands have to be rewritten. And so things like auto dump aren't going to work right now. Create item isn't working and teleportation is not working. But a lot of these ones are working and, and the kind of the important ones for speeding up the game are working. And that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. So we're going to save and close the game. Okay. So now that the game's closed and we unzipped the file, we're going to copy everything that was unzipped and we're going to go to program files, steam, steam apps, common, dwarf fortress, and paste everything in here right into the root folder. Okay. And we're going to do a copy replace on anything that it asks. So we're going to relaunch our game. And if we did it right, we're going to have this DF hack icon in the top left corner. Okay, this is a very important warning. DF hack is in an experimental build right now, and you should make sure you have backup of any important saves. Okay? So now, if we go to the top left-hand corner of the screen, we can press GUI Launcher, right? And that's going to open up this command window. And that is exactly the same as this command window here. So we can type our commands in like we used to in version 47, or we can use this in-game command window for version 50, right? Um, so the first command that we're going to type in is clean all, but we're going to put a space. <laughs> just like this. Clean all and press enter. And now we just removed contaminants from map blocks, creatures, and items. And it looks like almost 10,000 contaminants were removed. Now we can go one step further and do clean all space mud, item, and snow. Now, even if you don't have snow on the map, this is the command right here. You can read it down here. Clean all mud item snow, and it's going to remove splatter, including mud, leaves, and snow from falling map tiles. It's kind of like a more advanced clean all. So enter, and we removed almost a thousand items of mud off of map blocks. Excellent. Right click to leave that, and right click again, and we'll unpause the game and see the FPS just on that one command. Okay, so this guy right here. We're just going to follow them for a minute for everything to stabilize. Okay, he's drinking, but we're already at 28 FPS. Okay, we're following this guy. He's storing an item in barrel. And it looks like it's stabilizing at about... 24 or 25 graphical frames per second. You see, if I hover over this DF hack icon, it says Control shift d so if I hit Control shift d on the keyboard, that also opens this. If I press up on the arrow key, that's going to enter my last command. If I press up again, that's going to enter the command previous to that. And then I can hit down to get to the most recent. So let's run that again. And it looks like we got a little bit more. Okay. Uh, now this list right here is going to have way more commands in it that actually work right now. So if I go to settings and then game, right now temperature is enabled, okay? 
and temperature calculations can have a little bit of an effect on the game performance. Then if I hit Control Shift and D and type in fix forward slash stable, I don't have to finish typing it out, but I'm going to write fix stable temp. I could just click on this right here, right? And then hit enter. Okay. And now this finds 4,093 items that are not in a temperature equilibrium. So the game is currently doing calculations on all of these items, right? So if I hit up and then space apply, enter. 4,549 items were updated. And now it's only finding 55. Okay, so I think that's pretty good right now. So everybody knows that Atom Smashers are great to increase the performance of the game by removing items from the game, right? But I'm going to show you exactly why that is. Clean owned, and then space, scattered, and then a lowercase x. So clean owned scattered x, what this command is going to do here, it's going to confiscate and dump garbage owned by the dwarves. Specifically food and like shoes with holes in it. It's going to go by the wear of the item not the quality. So the lowercase x here is uh, lightly worn. So maybe like it's a glove with like a little bit of hole in it. But if you did an uppercase x, it's going to be 50% or lower remaining. So it's going to be maybe like a glove missing a finger or, or like a hole in the thumb. You know the pair of welding gloves you got. <laughs> so we're going to hit enter on this. And now this is going to put the whole fortress into a fury of activity after I press enter. Okay. But you see here, now it found all of these items. These are the total number of items that it found, but it didn't run the command on all of them. It did generate a very long list here of what it did run the command on. But if you take a look at one of these line items, this alpaca wool shoe, for instance, this has a wear level three. It's owned by Ficod. It's got an ID of 662483, right? And then it also has location data where it actually is X, Y, and Z. And then also it has uh, who made the item that you don't actually see here. So there's a lot of data in each one of these items. And that's the reason why the Atom Smasher is speeding up the game. Because every single one of these items is a unique memory address. And this ID right here is that memory address. Okay, so if I escape out of that, you can see that all the dwarves are kind of going into a fury of activity, dumping everything here. Um, now, I just cleaned the Atom Smasher just before we ran this, and look at how many items that we already brought over. Okay, now that's going to take a while for them to do, and that may actually impact FPS a little bit while they're working. So if I go to my units list and then sort by the job by hitting that arrow right there, you could see that almost all of the fortress here is dumping items, right? So one thing that we can do to speed up this part of it is go back to DF hack. So control shift D and then type in fast dwarf. Okay. And then we're going to put one. So dwarves work at maximum speed and then space zero. So nobody teleports. Okay. And then press enter and then right click. And now you could see that. You can see that, that my frames dropped to by about half, but the dwarves are moving like nine times the speed that they were earlier. So this is going to significantly increase the amount of time that it takes them to speed that up. Um, they're also going to work a lot faster if I go to dig this wall right here. Um, you see how they're, they're almost doing it instantaneously. The alpaca wool shoe out of this bin is going to be dumped. However, these two these gloves right here are not going to be dumped because they don't have any wear. Dwarves are also going to take off their own clothes. So when we do this, uh, we have to make sure to make new clothes afterwards. Unless we already have new clothes set up. So a large amount of moving water can also impact FPS on the map. And sometimes aquifers can create water. So if I just type in aquifer right here, drain aquifer. So this is going to remove all the aquifers on the map. And that's up to you if you want to use that or not. If press enter to use it. And now it cleared almost half a million aquifer tiles in, in 24 different layers on this map. So down here, for instance, underneath this drain, in order to access the area, this was an aquifer. 
but it's no longer. Um, same with over here and then a little bit over here as well. So now these water tiles are all going to dry up and no longer use resources on the map. If I go back to Fast Dwarf here and set this 0 to a 1, so it's Fast Dwarf 1-1, one, one, that's going to enable teleportation. Okay, enter. And the way teleportation works is they're not going to be able to get to an area here that they won't normally be able to path through. So in other words, they're not going to be able to teleport through these locked doors. If I tell them to mine this, then they're not going to be able to do it. Okay? So you see how they're not picking up the job? But if we come over to this area right next to the main hub here, and I tell them to mine this, then you see how they just teleport in, they mine it, and then they just immediately teleport away. <laughs> oh, well, it's not so immediate, but they have to go off and maybe they'll decide to drink or pray or something like that. And the same thing with the mine, with the smooth stoning. The military dwarves teleporting them is is pretty fun. However, you know they can't they can't teleport to an area that they can't actually walk to, so it has to be, have a walkable path for them to teleport. Um, I find that the dwarves, um, you see how they're not smooth stoning right now. Um, we just gotta wait for them to pick up the job. But like, they'll they'll do the job quick and teleport away, and like go meditate somewhere or socialize, and then they won't pick up the job until they're finished with that. So that's why I don't really like the teleportation. So I normally, if I press up on the keyboard, that brings that back. I'm gonna switch it back to a zero. So teleportation is now off. We're also going to pull this lever to destroy all of these items, but let's just take a look on how many items that we have in here so far. It's a pretty decent list here. Okay, excellent. Now, Control shift d and we are going to turn Fast Dwarf off. So we're going to go to Fast Dwarf 0, Space 0, Enter. And now we're going to save the game, and we're going to go right back into it. Now, right now we're getting about 30 or so. Uh, but keep in mind this is a 52 year fortress on a 7x7 map. And we also have ocean waves. Yeah, we're getting about 30 frames now. And I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that when I'm playing with OBS running, then the frames go down a little bit as well. That when I'm not recording. But I'm not entirely sure on that. Because I noticed when I was cleaning up the fortress outside, when we dug everything out, we were at like 37, almost 40 frames. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.